Hi friends, uh, in this video, we are uh, continuing the same uh, that we started uh, uh, in the previous video, that is introduction to electromagnetism, where we discussed about, you know, finding uh, the gradient of a scalar, its physical significance, what does uh, it mean, right? So um, if you remember, we discussed about d phi equals to del phi, which is grad phi actually, dot dr, right? And we discussed about its physical significance. There I told you, if a function constant, uh, you know, surface is given, if phi is constant and phi is a function of x, y, and z, the space coordinates, right? And it is given, right? Then uh, if you want to find out uh, the vector, which is perpendicular to this constant surface, then you need to obtain del phi. So let us do a few numericals based on this um, in this video. So quickly, I will just write a few questions. Suppose uh, the first question is find a del uh, f where f is a function, okay, and is given by f equals to some a x square plus b y square plus c z right, where this A, B, C are constants in this function, okay, so constants, you need to find out this del F, right, so simply we know uh, uh, how to find it, the solution will be del operated on F, I will just write this as I cap uh, del F by del X plus J cap del F by del Y, plus k cap del f by del z. So this is what is gradient of a scalar, right? Then we just substitute those values. So i cap del by del x of whatever the f value, a x square plus b y square plus c z plus j cap. Again, you just substitute del by del y of the f is the same function b y square plus c z, you write it plus k cap along the z direction, which is a x square plus b y square plus c z, right? Now you will see all, you know, this is partial differentiation. So only this term we can take the, we can differentiate del by del y, this term we can differentiate del by del z of this term, which is function of z, you can see, we can differentiate this term. So I can write it as i cap, the first term we got two x here, so two a x, so I cap two a x. Similarly, b y square you got. So y square if you differentiate, b is constant. Take it out. So b times two y. So I will add j cap uh, two times b y. Plus similarly here you got c. So del by del z of c z. You got c out and del by del z of um, uh, this z is one. So you write that k cap c. So this is what we got. So this is a simple uh, numerical just to show you how you can operate this del, uh, op I mean, operate this uh, del operator over any uh, function, right? The second question quickly we can discuss, suppose uh, it says um, uh, show that del operated on a potential function, a scalar function, okay? And this is R cap, del v by del r. We need to prove this, okay, where r cap is what? Is an unit vector, okay, unit vector, okay, along r vector, of course, r vector, the position vector. And of course, v is a scalar, okay, v is a scalar. So we need to find out, uh, we need to show that del operated on v can be written as r cap del v by del r. So how to do this? So quickly we will write like, um, we'll try to solve this. So del operated on V can be written as I cap del V by del X plus J cap del V by del Y plus K cap del V by del Z, right? Further, if you will write this V is actually a function of R and R is a function of X. So we can rewrite it as I cap this del V by del X can be written as del V by del R and then R is a function of X. So I can write del R by del X. So you can see del R del R will cancel and you got del V by del X. Or this is just the unitary method V is a function of R. So you write 
del v by del r, then r is a function of x, and then you have find del r by del x, and then you multiply both, you will get del v by del x. The same way you can write it for j cap, del v by del r, and this is del r by del y plus k cap del v by del r, sorry, del r, and then del r by del z. So we got this. Now further simplifying, you can see this is del v by del r here, del v by del r here, and del v by del r here. Let us take this out. So del v by del r, if I will take common, then what we got here inside, i cap del r by del x plus j cap del r by del y plus k cap del r by del z this is what we got right so now we we can further write what is this del r by del x del r by del y and del r by del z then we can simplify it okay let me just write suppose here i'm writing del r by del x okay we know that Okay, so we can write this r is actually what x square plus y square plus z square to the power 1 by 2. So I am just substituting it. Okay, r is okay, or else r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square. So for two dimension, if I'll do it, this is simple. If you have this is your x coordinate, this is your y coordinate, and this is your position vector r, then this r vector is actually, you know, the magnitude can be written as r square is equal to x square plus y square, simple Pythagoras. So if you are writing it for three dimension, you can write it like x square plus y square plus z square if you are considering three space coordinates x, y, z, right? So here we can write del by del x of r is equal to actually what? r is your x square plus y square plus z square square root so 1 by 2 to the power this right so if i'll just take the derivative of this i can write half of this whole thing x square plus y square plus z square okay to the power minus 1 by 2 derivative okay and minus 1 so 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and then the derivative of x square okay del by del x of x square which is 2x right so this will give us Mm, x so here you got 2 and 2 got cancelled so x and this is your x square plus y square plus z square to the power 1 by 2 2 if i'll write it here so you got x by r right if you understood this x square plus y square plus z square to the power 1 by 2 okay because it's minus 1 by 2 so if i'll write it in the denominator then i will write it as 1 by 2 so x by r we got. Similarly, we can write it for del r by del y. You got y square, so multiply to 2y. Some same thing for z and all. So you got del r by del x is x by r here. Del r by del y can be written as y by r. Del r by del z can be written as z by r. So if you will substitute this, we can rewrite this to be del v by del r. And here we have in bracket i cap x by r plus j cap y by r plus k cap z by r right you take r out because one by r out you got one by r everywhere right so you can write this is del v by del r okay and then this i cap x once you took this one by r out one by r out what do you got i cap x plus j cap y plus k cap z which is nothing but your vector r r vector vector r divided by its magnitude will give you the unit vector so what do we got is r cap del v by del r so this way you can uh sorry i don't have space here del v by del r so we got finally this is um r cap del v by del r okay so this is how we can show okay gradient operated on a um, scalar function can be written this way okay quickly one more uh, uh, question so if it says find the gradient of the scalar function so the scalar function is given which is a function of x y and z so it is given as x y plus y z plus z x at a point um one two three that means x equals to one y is two and z is three we need to find out um 
del phi sorry find the gradient of this scalar function so find this del phi find del phi at this point okay this is the question so phi is given so the same way you just write it okay i cap del phi by del x substitute the function every time here j cap del phi by del y plus k cap del phi by del z so in place of this phi you will substitute this okay x y plus y z plus z x so fine i'm just writing it directly you can substitute and then do it you can see with respect to x if you are writing see what are the terminologies having x so here you can see the uh, x and here you can see um, z x so if i will take the partial differentiation of these two terms then i can see this will give us y plus z so y plus z i can write similarly j cap with respect to y if you are taking then this and this term will be there right this and this term so you just substitute you know write those values that gives you z plus x plus similarly the last one will give us x plus y okay so this is what we got then you have you are given the point x y z is 1 2 3 so you substitute x is 1 y is 2 and uh, sorry y is 2 and your z value is 3 in this equation so you can write del phi at uh, the point 1 2 3 3 after substituting this here you got y plus z this 2 plus 3 that is 5 so i will write 5 i cap z plus x that is 3 plus 1 which is 4 so i got 4 j cap plus this is uh, x plus y So one plus y is two. One plus two that is three. So I got three k cap, right? So this way you can do. So the function is given at any point. You need to find out the gradient of that scalar. Just uh, do this way and substitute the values of x, y, z that is given for a particular point. Okay. So this way we can do. Next uh, question. Another question. Let's see. Uh, it says if a is a constant vector. okay this is a constant vector if a is a constant vector okay and r is the position vector position vector then prove that then prove that del operator operated on a dot r will be the same sorry will be the same constant vector a okay this is very simple you can just do it like you know you can find out a dot r first first then and sub, uh, operate del on that so if i'll write solution a dot r first a dot r if i'll write let us write this way i cap a x plus j cap a y plus k cap a z so this is my a vector in terms of unit vectors similarly r vector we got i cap x plus j cap y plus k cap z dot product so only those i j and k components will exist so we got x time a x plus y times a y plus z times a z so this is what we got now if i will operate this del on this scalar quantity that is obtained a dot r simply we can write del by del x of this whole thing right so x a x plus y a y plus z a z similarly del by del y of this whole thing and del by del z of this whole function here a dot r right so that will give us you can see what are the terminology will that will be there so del by del x of s x a x if you will see you will get only a x right so a x you will see okay i'm sorry uh, i forgot to take this i cap and j cap and k cap here because del is operated on this so okay so finally we we can write see here you will see ax will be there similarly ay will be here and az will be here so finally we got i cap ax plus j cap ay plus k cap az so that is nothing but your vector a so this way we can prove okay these are simple examples or numericals that is asked okay fine so 
one more question that is that says find a vector uh, perpendicular to the surface okay so we need to find the vector perpendicular to the surface the surface is a function of x y and z that is given as x square plus 2 y square plus 3 z x is equal to 4 you can clearly see that it is in the form of phi is equal to constant right so phi is equal to constant if you want to find out a vector perpendicular to this surface you must determine del phi right you must determine del phi so del phi will be what simply i cap del by del x of phi right so del by del x of this phi the function which is x square plus 2y square plus 3zx right similarly the second term will be j cap del by sorry del by del y of this and then k cap del by del z of this right to determine you got i cap 2x plus 3z right then you got plus j cap this is 4y plus k cap and you got 3 times x so this is what we got del phi now this is the vector which is, which will be perpendicular to this surface right and if they will ask you in this question they uh, there there will be a small modification there can be a small modification where they they may ask you find the unit vector that is normal to this constant surface okay find a unit vector if it is so then what do you need to do you 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 got this del phi over here then you take you if you want to find the unit vector you take the vector and then you take the magnitude of the vector right del phi so you divide it that will give you the unit vector so magnitude means what this component you will square this one right and this component square plus this component square and then square root that will be the magnitude over here you substitute it okay let me just write it for you so if you want to find the unit vector which is the first one we calculated we got is the vector that is perpendicular the second uh, question i'm saying if they will ask you the unit vector that is perpendicular to the constant surface the unit for unit vector you can just write uh, del phi which is the vector and then magnitude of del phi right the magnitude of the del phi which we can write i cap 2x plus 3z plus j cap here we got 4y plus k cap here we got 3x divided by the square root of square of x component which is 2x plus 3z square okay plus 16y square plus 3x square that is 9x square so now this will be the unit vector which is perpendicular to phi is equal to constant function okay so okay if they will ask you to find out uh, the vector uh, uh, the vector that is normal that is perpendicular to phi is equal to constant surface at a certain point for example they will ask you uh, find uh, this at 1 2 0 what we need to do is only thing in the final answer maybe uh the vector del phi or if they said uh, to find the unit vector uh, in the unit vector n cap just substitute the value of x as 1 y as 2 and z as 0 and then write the value okay write the value this way you can do okay so these are few numericals based on this uh, gradient of a scalar quantity right so you need to understand what is the physical significance of gradient of a scalar and how to determine you know like the equipotential where we said d phi is equal to 0 that means equipotential a constant surface right if you are referring to a um, uh, scalar quantity like potential and d phi is 0 that means you know del phi and your d are they are perpendicular to each other that means you are moving in a direction that is perpendicular to the constant surface so constant surface if it is potential that the physical quantity you are referring to potential then you will say it's a equipotential surface right so if you are moving um perpendicular to that equipotential surface then your d phi will be um i mean sorry um your del phi okay uh, del if you are moving uh, perpendicular to this uh, constant surface that will be the direction of del phi okay so this is what we can conclude over here okay 
So stay tuned. We will continue this introduction to electromagnetism in other videos as well. So here we are just doing the you know uh, little mathematics um, that is required to understand the uh, basics of uh, electromagnetism. Then we will uh, see what are the basic laws of electricity and magnetism or electromagnetism. Thank you for watching. Thank you.